I walked in town on silver spurs the jingle too. Hey, it's Emily, Super Sensitive Human, and today I am in Camp Verde, Arizona at Beasley Flats, and we're going to explore some cliff dwellings that are across the river behind me here, and they uh, don't get much traffic, much human traffic, since you have to cross the river to get to them, but they're pretty cool. You can get right inside and climb around, and there's like little tunnels behind the houses where they stored stuff or maybe those were little bedrooms for children who knows so we'll get a closer look at them so you can see the water here is brown but it's not at a particularly high level i've crossed it before back behind me where it's kind of coming downhill fast but i think i'm gonna cross down here where it's a little bit shallow but uh less fast so not a big deal. The only trick is to not drop the camera in the water. Otherwise, it's totally unthreatening. It's uh, 95 degrees out, so it's not cold. Um, this is my friend Joe. I'm showing him these cliff dwellings. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. My summer wine is really made. Made it across. Now we gotta make it up to the cliffs. like 200 rooms here. I'm not really a numbers person. My companion was asking me when people lived here. I said maybe between 700 and 1400 because I know that they were gone by the time the Spanish explorers came through in the 1500s or 1600s. Oh. Check out this little nook. A little tiny storage you know, maybe for grains wall that off store your grains in there Ooh, it smells like my attic growing up we're in a really cool room right now really tall floor to ceiling really nice um, sculpted rounded doorways you got back room Yeah, there we go. Smaller back room. And a little storage closet here. Isn't that cute? Yeah, there we go. Cute little nook. All that hidden back behind this doorway. One's got a bit of a mud and rock wall here. Joe was like, oh, that's a surprise. I was like, what's in there, a snake? He's like, no, better. It was like a mountain lion? I said, no, bats. But uh, then he said, oh, but there is a big print down here. And uh, kind of does look like a mountain lion print. See that? A little small, maybe. Stinky. All right, we're gonna leave this one alone. Spoil it all. This would be a fun one to live in during a rainstorm. You can see the rain start tumbling down this mountainside here and over the cliff, little waterfall.
Cool caterpillar. Split level cave dwelling going on. It's like a fibrous ball of agave fiber, I think. I wonder if this was in someone's mouth, like a quid. You got ones that you need to climb up into and ones that you need to climb down into, like this one. It's a double level, two story. Left or the right? The right one is just a normal room, but the left one goes through the tunnel to next door. Ugh. And do a new one. Like the hotel rooms that have the doors between them. <laughs> but I'm appreciating all the different door shapes. Some of them, uh, like this one, are a sort of triangular. This one's a lopsided circle. This slope has a bunch of pottery. Here's a, somebody's picked them up. Here's a nice uh, piece with a rim on it. Black inside. I broke, I slipped in the mud and broke my sandal, so, uh, hmm, I think I can shove this back in here. There we go. I'm all worried it might come off again when I cross the stream, but I think it's going to hold for walking. <laughs> Okay, you can stop. Ah. Ooh. This would be good pottery material. We made it back across the river and no problems. Didn't drop the camera in. When I fell down in the mud, I had the camera in my hand, but I kind of landed with it like up like this so it didn't get any mud on it except for on the tripod so we're all good <laughs> that's all folks stay tuned and join me on another adventure in the central arizona wilderness or maybe i'll go somewhere else different state or something all right See you later.